So today, we're just going to take this small form factor PC, turn it into a Zwift machine where you can use ultra settings. So this is the HP Elite 8300 small form factor. I have upgraded this once already from standard to having a GT 1030 in it and you can get um, you can get 1080p graphics out of it and you can get about I said between 30 and 50 frames a second on that that's the so easy to upgrade these these computers as a matter of just lifting that off so lift out the RAM careful not to bend any pins or anything like that let's stick that right down over there down inside here you got slot you got your slots so I'm in today so that was the um, GT 1030 coming out and today we're gonna put in a 16 six, 1650 see if we can get the ultra I have already opened this up and put the small form factor bracket on it. You do, you do need to have the small foot. Um, the, sorry, the low profile, the low profile graphics card, a standard size graphics card, won't fit in there. Just take that off there. See, it's a lot smaller than the other sizes. This size here is it comes with another bracket as well for the um for a normal size tower but you see the size difference that just wouldn't fit in there so that's why you can't buy a normal size graphics card so pop that over there I'll just pop this in hook it underneath it take, takes up two you have to make sure you take out an extra one these these just lift out just lift, lift out easy enough but you gotta make sure you take take them out take the extra one out because this will take up two slots where the GT 1030 will only take up one slot we're gonna go through the settings as well in a minute and when we go on to um, when we boot it up just push it in like that make sure it's in properly it's clicked in click back over and we're done also, while we've got it open, we've got two sticks of four gigs each of RAM. You need you you preferably having um, eight gigs of RAM to run Zwift at its best. But if you want to do multitasking and stuff like that, then you're going to be wanting to have more like sixteen gigs of RAM. So have two maybe two slots of um, eight or four slots of four. But you don't want to be you don't really want to be having like a four and then eight and having that like twelve. You want it to be roughly the same on both sides. Then it works out better. Now now we're on 1080p. Um there's still no shadows, but it's sharpened up quite a bit. Um it is it's definitely playable. Um I can spend a lot I, I spend quite a bit of time on it just on the in the 1080p version in the medium settings but that's not what we're here for today so today we've put in the 1650 uh, low profile graphics card and now we're going to have a look at the settings what it's like see what it's done so now we're here in the um, ultra settings 1440p you can tell uh, that it's a lot crisper have a, let's have a look around, shall we? See what it looks like. Much, much sharper. Much, much sharper. Let's have a look, let's zoom out a bit. really crisp setting but there's still some more settings to stop it buffering and stuff like that so I'm going to take you into them now so what you want to do you want to go into your NVIDIA 
control panel you go down to 3d image settings and what you want to do is you want to go down to triple triple buffering turn triple buffering on turn that on if you're then you want to turn thread optimization turn it from auto and you turn that off these are what um, the people I've got a Facebook group I'm a, a massive with Facebook group that I'm on they build all 4k computers and stuff like that I'll put a link in the description below for that you want to turn so if you're on an adaptive monitor a proper true adaptive monitor then you want to limit your maximum frame settings to 59 but if you're not I even mean, if you're just on going onto a TV then you want to limit it to 61 and that is it for the setup let's just go and have a look back at the there probably won't be any noticeable difference but it's just when you're racing in a big group rides and stuff like that then you don't get the stuttering all the time and stuff what you want it's just smooth play so we are at 45 frames a second at the minute but you it will it will run on ultra on the ultra settings 53 frames um, it will run on ultra settings but you are going to be dropping frames just like 20 and 30 frames a second let's do, uh, let's have a quick look at that though so this is this is 4k for look at the shadows you got all the shadows back so look at the shadows the shadows true shadows going up and down with his feet um, so it just really is much better in 4k at either 1080p or 4k you could run if, if you're doing just a single group ride I'm getting I'm getting 37 frames a second at the minute just watching this is only watching though so but bear in mind I have got I am recording as well in the background so that will take a little bit up from it probably but yeah that's it does go up to 4k if you're willing to run at 35 frames a second but as I say if you go back to 1440 then you are going to have a lot faster frame rate see if you got value from this video please give me a like subscribe to the channel for more tips and tr tricks for Zwift and racing and there'll be links in the description below for to where to get the things on Amazon from there will be affiliate links they don't cost you any more but I got a little kickback and it helps support the channel on the side. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.